in order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is our follow-up session of ServiceNow developer training before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about business rule with Scratchpad. In one of my sessions, we learned about that what is business rule and what are the global objects of business rule. Now, one of the global object of business rule is G underscore scratch pad. So this is what we are going to use in this particular session. So I will show you the practical example. Then what use case you can utilize G underscore scratch pad and what kind of requirement you will get from the customer or client. And then you will think, OK, I should have to create a G underscore scratch pad business rule. So let's take a look how exactly you can do that in your instance. So I will go to my personal developer instance. In order to do that, let me tell you basic use case. Now, the basic use case is if I go to incident and I open any incident. So what I want, whenever I open any incident, it should show me an alert and on that alert i should be able to see caller's location that is what i want now as you can see the caller's location is not on the form so we cannot show it as per the client because alert is always runs on client on the user's browser so i have to fetch that value from the database which is which will uh, pull that value from caller uh, basically sys user table and then it will display it but i cannot utilize client script because I cannot fetch that value. Basically, there are some other ways. If you remember, in client script, we talked about uh, get reference. So you can still do that. But G underscore scratch pad is it's also one of the, I would say, best example. It will, it will do kind of an async job. That's what it will do. It will just get the value from the database, and then it will show you on the screen. So whenever if you get any kind of requirement where you have to fetch some two, three fields from uh, from a server and which is not on the client and you have to populate that value on the client, then G underscore scratch pad is the best way to do that because showing the value of, of, of like server fields or server data on the client there are various ways like we have glide ajax we have g underscore scratch pad another one we have get reference all three methods they are the best practices basically so but but if i i would say all re overall recommendation is glide ajax but g underscore scratch pad is also recommendable and you can use it you can also use get reference, but I would say let's ignore that get reference, but you can always use uh, G underscore scratch pad and Glide Ajax. Those are the best recommendable approach for fetching the values for the client. So what I would do, I would write a business rule. So I would go to business rules. And let me tell you one thing before that we definitely have these scratch pads out of the box as well. And if I will search it here, you will see one is written on task table and one is written on incident table. It says load incident models into scratch pad. If I click this, I will be able to see what all values I have saved. So you can see we have uh, we have this incident state and we have this incident reason. That's what we have done. So it's up to you. You want to edit. This is out of the box, so I'm not going to touch this. I just wanted to show you, but I will create a new business rule. Now for G underscore scratch pad, if you remember, we talked about display business rule. Now that is what you have to select here. 
in when you will not select before after or async you have to select display business rule in order to use g underscore scratch pad now this is the condition and if i so i will run this on display there's no condition as of now it would show you every time so it will get that value every time i want here what i will do so as you know in business rule you can always get the current records so current fields you can fetch those values you have you can store those values and that's what you have current in that case what you can do you can do so in order to declare this scratch pad you always go for g underscore scratch pad dot now you have to give the value to it so let's take an example of c location that is what i am putting and if i go equal to here i will put current dot so i will put caller id dot and i have location so if i go to sys user table dot list I open this record do I have location here I have department I don't have location so in that case let's let's pull department so I have this department I go here and I put it department now when this value this this business rule will run it will pull the value of caller ID department here and it will save in scratch pad and the, the variable which we have created that is DC lo location that's what we have used so what I'm going to do I'm just uh, putting SAS scratch pad I'm saving this I will go to incident I will go to client script because I need to populate that alert so I will go to client script I will create a new alert for department I will type here on load I want whenever like form gets loaded it should show that department like it's not something that you will get the same kind of scenario your customer might give you a different scenario I'm just showing you the example that how exactly you can utilize G underscore scratch pad here what I will do first I will save the value of the location department basically so uh, C I think our we can do department it's a variable we are declaring and I will put G underscore scratch pad dot C location so it's a variable name so it won't matter but anyhow we are getting the department so I have where department And here I will do alert the callers department is department I have written here and it would run every time we load the form so I am saving this now we will see whether we are getting right data or not ID I would think this would give you the sys ID let's take a look what exactly it gives so if I go to open I open any form so now you can see I was correct so it says the callers department is this 
so you can see it's giving the society of that the, the reason behind it because department field is reference field and that's the reason it is giving you the society now how can we get how can we get the string the name of that particular department for that what i can do i can go back to my business rule here i will do one thing get display value that's what i can do and if i save here i go back to my incident and i reload it this time you can say uh, you can see that callers department is customer support so that's a big difference now whenever you perform development de development in your instance or you perform development in your organization this these are the small things we need which you need to take care that what kind of fields data you are fetching that's what you have to always remember whether you are getting the right data or not so anyhow you'll be doing the development and then you'll perform the unit testing but make sure you are testing each and everything before delivering it to the client and customers so this is the example of g underscore scratch pad and how exactly you can use g underscore scratch pad so thanks for watching my video and have a great day